So first of all, we're going to do a consultation with you, just mm -hmm. ask a few questions so we make sure that we get exactly what you're after today. Following the treatments that you've had recently, mm -hmm. um, are you using any anti-aging creams, have any use of Botox or any fillers? No, or no. just moisturiser. No. Do you use sunbed? No. Um, and you don't suffer with alopecia? No. Uh, any other hair loss conditions? No, just like from pregnancy. Right, okay. okay. And are you or could you be pregnant right now? No, definitely not. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay. So we're going to talk about your eyebrow shape, colour, mm -hmm. um, everything else that you want to go for with us what you want to achieve today. Okay. Yeah. So, colour wise, would you like them to be darker? I think so, like right? slightly darker, just so yeah. they stand out a bit more. They're quite a lot. You quite like, you like them to be more dark. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. But not like too dark, they don't look good for my hair colour, but they just seem quite faint. Yeah. Size wise, um, what's I'd like them to be a little bit longer. You want to see? Yes, because yeah. they kind of trail off. Yeah, we'll do yeah. some measuring up and make sure yeah. that you're oh, even the length of your brows are sitting in the right yeah. area. Um, as in thickness wise, are you happy with how thick they are right now? Yeah, I think yes, they're, they're not, not too bad, but I don't know really. Like, if you think they'd look better slightly wider or something. Okay. okay. I mean, obviously, depending on how well your hair is growing naturally mm -hmm. on your eyebrows, we can work to achieve a thicker brow if that's okay. what you're after. Yeah. Uh, generally, with HD brow, the rule is that you go with a thicker, uh, a thicker at the bowl. Okay, quick ball, going to medium on the arch and then you get skinny out as you go. Oh, wow, yes. Yeah, yeah, so you can shape it out. We work with the rule with that's how we yeah. get that HD brow. Oh, well, then, so. <laughs> <laughs> we can work with you, that's that good. Yeah, I need to have a slightly fuller brow. Mm -hmm. That would be that. And the overall look, do you ever look at anyone's brows, maybe things? I see loads of people's brows. Yeah, they, they, they just, like just, I like the arch in them. How they kind of go. So you like the, the Kardashian arch. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's amazing, yeah. yeah. But whether you could do that with mine or not, I'm not sure. You can definitely aim to get a nice arc yeah. down there. So it's a little bit the nice yeah. end. Oh, yeah. brilliant, thank you. It's messy stuff, isn't it? Yeah. It's not just the standard oh, eyebrow yeah. shape. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's so much we can do for your brows. <laughs> yeah. Because yeah. you're going to be working with me to hold your skin while we're ready. Oh, okay. Can you sanitise your hand? Okay, good, good. Okay, you can move up together. Mm -hmm. Kenzie area. How long ago did you have your tattooing done on your brow? Um, it was about a year now, just over. Is that what? Yeah. Can you work with brows that have been tattooed? You can, yeah, we can definitely, yeah, especially if um, maybe we have actually had a couple of people say, can I HD their brows on? And then they can do it. Yeah, and tattoo it exactly. Yeah, that's a good idea, isn't it? Yeah. Mixing up the tint. It's slightly different from how we would do like an online brow shaping tint. It's quite tidy with an eye brow shaping tint. Yeah, that's good. 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 And it won't keep your skin, like only the hair. It, it will take to your hair, but we have a product that actually takes off the skin as well. It comes with HD brows. Yeah. How many different shades of tint can you have? Like from with light to dark? Yeah, you can have a medium brown, a um, light brown, with a black, um, and then we're also learning a graphite colour, which mm -hmm. is what we mix with our brown in order to give that ashier brown colour rather than um, the rainy brown that you yeah. can see with the black and brown. Oh wow! Loads of different possibilities. There are, yeah. yeah. You can, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You can go natural. You can go really, mm. really, really dark. Do you do them really big scouse brows? That like you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We've had a couple. Okay, you can come in. I want the towel look. Mmm. I think it brings really good definition to your eyes, though, to have a bright brow, doesn't it? It can really change your face shape. Really enhance everything you have. If you have a longer face, um, you can take the eyebrows slightly wider and balance to balance it out. Yeah, um, and vice versa. If you have um, a little wide face, then we can actually lift the arch slightly to make the face look a little bit longer. Oh, it's like magic. Or the eyebrows. Yeah, it's really nice. Yeah, it's and how often would you have this done? I'd recommend at first that you have it done every four to six weeks. Many people have it done every four because we are trying to achieve a look eventually, um, the, the desired look that the client is after. It's not something, I mean, they will, they will look lovely today, but 
we're basically telling you what you will be able to achieve mm. once they're once complete. With, yeah, once, once working together with a, a regrowth program. Um, today, they will look lovely once they're tinted and shaped, and then we will fill in um, and enhance using your eyebrow palette and your eyebrow okay. pencil. But obviously, once you wash it off, yeah, yeah. Then gone. But you can actually see what where we're trying to go with it eventually. Okay. So it's very cool to start with. Mm -hmm. um, and you can also um, buy the actual eyebrow palettes as well. And we can teach you how to put it in a home. Oh, so wow. you can carry on getting that look. Mm -hmm. And eventually you realise that you're using less and less. And your hair just doesn't pull you. Yeah. yeah. Oh, fantastic. I never know when you draw them on where to put them or mm -hmm. how much to fill in. I always get them wonky, so, so I have them tattooed. Not easy to get them. Um, people as well get, get really um, frustrated and can't get them to look exactly the same mm. size. Yeah, and they can the never same. be that way, can they? Yeah. Yeah. Similar, they're not the same. Yeah. This does not twin. No. So now I'm just measuring out where we want to take the hair from. Okay, so we're just using the lines in order to get a perfect shape. And then I will wax outside of the line. How high can you make them at the kind of highest point then? Um, I wouldn't do anything that isn't going to be some realistic. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But yeah. what I can see that true. already. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's my shape. Oh, yeah, wow. Okay, so oh, that's different. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so I've already worked with your natural mm -hmm. shape to get to what you can add to it. Yeah. You don't want to be doing anything unrealistic. Because mm -hmm. you really don't want the client to then go home and then what they're going to do is sort of You know, you want them to, yeah, to be oh, able to recreate it. Chicken, and then, so it's only when you look at photos, isn't it? You think, what was I it thinking? Seriously, I've yeah. got no brow. <laughs> what did I do with it? So bad. Yeah, you but usually make them too it wide well. as well, and yeah. then too thin at the end. I remember back then when they started, like, from yeah, the mine did that. Yeah. yeah, it's not a good look. Mm -hmm. It's good to have two brows, but it's um, always helps. <laughs> yeah. It's not good to make them look like they've had a really bad argument. <laughs> <laughs> Miles it away from each other, yeah, completely. <laughs> you want to blink in like anticipation? <laughs> Something that you do with hay fever as well that people always scared of is actually wax from above. Oh, yeah, that really hair that just kind of goes off nowhere. Mm. Oh, yeah. Mm. Some people are still sort of like, oh no, the wax from above. But yeah, I was always told like you just pluck mm. from below and leave yeah. the, the top there, but it always ends up so messy if you leave it. Yeah. This is the stigma attached to it is that if you, change, if you start plucking too much from above, Mm, then you can lose the, the shape of the brow. Oh, wow. So you don't need to lose your arm. <laughs> so, yeah, it's just knowing mm. what, what's tidying it up and what's, um, and what's taking and what's it away. And shape, yeah. I mean, I just use tweezers on them. Yeah, because you've already got the shape with the tattoo, I suppose. Mm -hmm. You just get the excess. But then the thing with plucking, like, if you miss a hair and it grows enough, 
you actually then think it was that supposed to be there mm. and then you end up letting it grow and it changes the shape of the flower. Mm. You really got to kind of do it every day. Like this. <laughs> if you wax, sometimes it causes a little, um, what I call like a tide line. Mm. So you end up with a real smooth area. Oh, and you hear that the rest of hair is mm. you can see where there's a line. So with the threading, what we do is we blend the line in the hair. Oh, so it's not so obvious. Yeah. It's not like a border around there of bare skin and mm. fluffy hair. <laughs> Yeah, some people have got quite like, a lot of their tail on their lids oh, and actually it really helps to blend it in there. Yeah. You're not like that. Do they blend um, sort of quite quickly then? Not, they kind of lose their real, because you want it so yeah, narrow, sharp, that's the thing. Know. Yeah, so you do tend to lose that quite quick. There's such a difference in shape, isn't it? Yeah. Like the arch and everything. Yeah. And then I'll see where we've filled in the, mm. the bulb. And you have to, it does, it's not obvious, it's nothing to do, but we can yeah. actually get the natural, natural but yeah. they are oh, oh, right. Thank you very much. I'm looking at her, so it's easier to see when you're looking at the on. Wow, what a difference. God, that looks lovely. Wow, I love them. Thank, Thank you. you. Very welcome. So I've had my HD brows done at the Belmont today, and if you want yours done too, then come on down. <laughs>